from okay in class what i am pregnant okay so let's just go i'm reading the book from title don't judge other written by amina sunny camera okay. chapter two a bit louder okay speak to the okay. microphone sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. chapter two girl thought about it for this how she will present the issues to her okay. parents mm -hmm. How to present the issues to her parents. She was afraid that they would not allow her and they would even beat her up for asking for permission to go to school. After a few days of overthinking, she finally spoke to her parents. Mommy, Daddy, please send me to school. I want to learn like my brothers and sisters. She said to her parents, Mickey, did you hear that? Girl says she wants to go to school. Her mother said to her father and they both was laughing at her. Who will send an ugly and useless girl like you to school? Just look at you. Have you ever seen anyone as ugly as you in this community? Her father asked her. Girl stared at her feet as still rolled up in her eyes. She had no idea what she has done to her parents for them to hate her like that. I have an idea. Why don't we play a game? One of girl's brothers said, What game? Girl's mother and father girl's mother and father are suddenly interested in what the boy has to say. If girl can find anybody as ugly as her in this community or even in the whole world, just one person, then we will send her to school. The boy said, Girl's parents thought about it deeply and it seemed like a such a fine idea. Then then there was no way in the entire world that girl would find anyone as ugly as her and therefore they would not have to send her to school. That is a such a fine idea. Go on girl, go and find anyone, just one person who is as ugly as you and then we promise to let you go to school. Her father said, girl, and girl was really sad about this, but she was determined to prove them wrong and show to her parents that there are people who are just as ugly as her. So she set out to the task her parents and siblings had given her, and even though she knew that the motive behind such attacks was to ridicule, she promised herself to try her best. So the next day at sunrise, she left the house to begin her search for someone who may be just as ugly as her. So she went from house to house, house to house, and farmland to farmland, looking for someone who may just be as ugly as her. She was determined because this was her ticket to go to school. Do you know anyone who is as ugly as me? She asked as she moved from house to house. Oh, poor little thing. I am so sorry. I have not seen anyone who is as ugly as you. The neighbor said to her, there was no one in the neighborhood who has not heard about what girl's parents motivated her and they all knew about the task that had been given to girl. They really wanted to help her but there was nothing they could because they had not seen anyone uh, who as ugly as her before in their entire lives. Girl was detected because no matter how much she had searched and said, there was nobody quite as ugly as she was. She was almost about to give up on herself that she would never find someone who could be as ugly as her. Therefore, no school for her. But the neighbor who had rescued her from the river came to the rescue again. The neighbor had been watching from afar from a hole. Wow. He had seen how her parents had treated her bitterly. 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 Okay. And he did not like it. Therefore, he adopted girl. Her parents were happy to have her off their hands and give her up willingly the neighbors. 
The neighbor treated God with respect and gave her a name. He was called Peace. He sent her to school. Peace did so well in school that she was given a scholarship and was sent in, into England and continued her studies. And when she returned years later, she had grown into a beautiful young woman and had become a medical doctor. Her older siblings has all turned out badly because their parents had spoiled them bodily repair. P's parents regretted judging P for her looks and for treating her badly and they wish they could take it all back. When they saw how P has turned and how she took care of the neighbor who had adopted her who was now an old man. But it was too late. They learned an important lesson never to pass judgment on other people based on their looks and appearances. Thank the you. End. The end indeed. Thank you very much. So you heard it from um, Celestina Etia Saman too. Um, they are great kids from Vitsam Educational Complex. I love the way you guys read. It was so consistent.